Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time I'm going to be painting a project from my watercolor book, Watercolor With Me in the Ocean, and I've chosen to work on the crab project. I've already got my colors ready. I've got Indian red and cadmium orange hue. If you have this book and you wanna follow along with me, by all means, go ahead. If you are not familiar with my books, they are watercolor project books and everything is printed on watercolor paper. You'll see a light sketch on the right hand side of this book and then instructions on the left hand side, as well as all of the supplies you're going to need and the colors. So I'm just going to be following the instructions for this piece. I'm wetting the entire body of the crab with clean water. You don't want to put too much water to where it's puddling. You just want to dampen the paper enough so that it's a little bit shiny. I am using a number six brush for this as well. And I'm going to go right ahead and start activating that Indian red color and start applying that to the damp area on the paper. You can see here I'm just using the tip of my brush to kind of go around the edges and make those nice and clean. So according to the instructions, I'm just going to continue applying that color over the whole body of the crab. If you don't want to paint in the book, um, that's definitely an option as well. A lot of people have been tracing the sketches onto a watercolor paper of their choice and then doing the projects that way. So feel free to do that as well. Um, it's good for practice, especially if you don't want to kind of just start in your book and think you might make a mistake or something like that, or if you just want a higher quality paper. I will, of course, always include links to my books in the description box below. Um, you can get all of my books so far on Amazon as well as major book retailers. You can go online and get them. You can go into your bookstore and get them. And I do have a third book coming out in October 2020. So I've just decided to darken a couple places with that Indian red. And now, as per the instructions again, I'm going in with that orange shade and I'm just dabbing in a little bit of extra color. This just adds a little bit of variation to the crab so that it's not just a flat red color. I'm gonna dry off my brush now, clean it, and then wipe it on a paper towel as per the instructions. And then I'm just going to take that dry brush and lift off some of that color to create those little shiny spots on the back of the crab. Now I'm gonna start on the limbs. So according to the instructions, I'm gonna go in with clean water and I'm just gonna start wetting different um, individual areas of the legs with clean water. And then I'm gonna start dropping in the colors. So again, we're just gonna wet it so that it's damp. You don't want puddles. Uh, and then I'm gonna grab Indian red and sort of dab that in and then dab in a little bit of orange on top of that. If you find that you've gone a little bit too dark, you can always clean your brush, dry it off, and then lift off some of the paint. So you're just gonna continue doing this on all of the limbs. You'll notice that I sort of skip the limbs or the sections of the limbs that are right next to each other. That's just because I don't want the colors blending together while the paper or the paint is still wet. So try to choose limbs that are not right next to each other and just move on from one to that next at least until the first piece of limb that you've done is a little bit more dry. And you can keep on referencing the sample image as well just to make sure that you're doing it properly and that you have all the colors in place. I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit more to the end of this because it is a little bit repetitive and I think you guys get the hint. If you have this book, I'd love to know what your favorite projects are. I've loved seeing all of your artwork on Instagram. A lot of you guys tag me in your pieces and I love seeing them. Um, a lot of people are also using the hashtags watercolor with me and watercolor with me in the ocean or watercolor with me in the forest, my first book. Um, so you can check those out too on Instagram if you wanna see other people's creations. But yeah, I'd love to know in the comments what your favorite project was. Do you even have this book? Are you planning on purchasing this book? Um, let me know your thoughts.
I'm just going through now with a darker mix of the Indian red and I'm gonna just darken a couple of the areas that I think need it. This part isn't mentioned in the instructions, but I just like to go through and do it anyways. I think it adds a little more dimension when you just add a little bit of shadow or darker detail. So now when everything's dry, I'm gonna take my Micron pen. It's just a permanent ink black pen. This is also listed in the supplies and I'm going to draw on the little eyeballs. And the painting portion is basically done. We're just gonna be using ink pens now to kind of finish this off and add highlight details. So I'm using my Jelly Roll white pen and I'm going in and just adding little highlights wherever I have them on the example image. If you're looking for a list of supplies, check the description box. I've got an Amazon link there to my Amazon store that kind of suggests um, and recommends supplies that I like using, like this Jelly Roll white pen. And you'll totally notice when you're doing this that the piece just starts to come to life. Adding highlights against the darker areas, like the shadows, it definitely finishes off a piece. So definitely pick up a white pen if you have not already. If you don't have a white pen, you can always use acrylic paint, um, white gouache, um, anything that is more opaque than a watercolor. I was also thinking about making these book paintings sort of a regular thing. If you have either of my books, what project would you like to see me paint um, on my YouTube channel? I was also considering doing a couple Instagram live sessions where we can all kind of paint together using the books. So if you think that's a good idea, let me know as well. I've got all of these ideas in my head and I just don't know what to do with them. So your help would really be appreciated. But either way, let me know what project from either of my books you'd like to see me paint on this channel. So also while I work on these highlights, I just wanted to apologize for not posting in so long. Uh, I was on a regular schedule. I was trying to post every week or so. Um, and then I got pregnant. <laughs> so with a baby coming next month, she's due April 20th. It's been a little bit hard to do anything really, to do any projects, to kind of get in the mood to paint it all. I would start doing something and I would just find myself being worn out so quickly. And on top of not doing YouTube videos, I was working on my brand new book that's coming out and it took a long time to get into the groove on that one um, but I finally finished it and I'll be sharing more info on that later. So I'm not really sure how my schedule is going to be with uploading YouTube videos because this baby is coming really soon. So I hope that you guys can understand where I've been um, and just kind of what's been going on. If you want to stay updated with my life and what's been going on, you can follow me on Instagram and check out my Instagram stories because I do tend to update a lot more over there. All right, so this project is coming to an end now and I hope that you guys liked it. I hope that if you followed along, you will tag me on Instagram and let me see your piece. Here's my final little crab. I'm pretty happy with how he turned out and I really hope to see you guys in the next video.